And then he is here. I am so excited to have you in the building, Cranium. Thanks for having me. What's I really up? Appreciate it. I'm good, man. I have been looking forward to this interview the entire day. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thanks for having me. You just started at 5 a.m.? Like 7 in the morning. Oh, 7 a.m. Yeah. Are you used to that sort of press days where all day you're just yeah. going out doing interviews? Yeah, not really before a show, but um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it gets hectic. But it's in the business. It's, it's part of your job. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Most but it's people. okay. But welcome to Nairobi. Is this your first time in Nairobi? It's my first time here, yeah. Yeah, but you came on Thursday, I think, right? I uh, came, yeah. Oh, yesterday. Was yesterday. that yesterday? Yeah, no, yesterday, the day before. Yesterday, actually. Oh, you came yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. Were you from a show? Yeah, I was coming from um, Australia. Yeah, oh. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, so that was a long flight. Okay. And then you came through. All right. You haven't even had a chance to enjoy, no. you know, the scenery. Are you going yeah. back immediately? Yeah, I leave tomorrow. I have a next show tomorrow in yeah. Tanzania. Oh um, wow! So it's yes, just I mean, it's just it's, it's a part of the business, you know. What I mean, it's a part of life, you know. What I mean, yeah. some place you get to chill extra days sometimes, and the road you get to like move, but you know, I mean, get used to it. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so glad you're on the trend. Um, so the hashtag is here. I mean, if you have any questions, I'm going to be getting them on my phone, and then I'll ask Cranium. Yeah. So now, um, let's talk about how incredible you have been doing for the past few years. Yeah. Um, how how do you feel seeing where you are right now? Um. I feel like the further I get, is the more I feel behind in my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like that's what keeps me going because no matter how far ahead I go, I feel like I'm still behind, you know. And that gives me the drive to like, just be the artist that I am today. You know, it's all about patience, it's all about pacing yourself, mm -hmm. finding the right records, releasing the right songs at the right time, mm -hmm. and just um, keep it going. Yeah. yeah. So, Nobody Has to Know is still a, a, a ridiculously huge record. Yeah. Still gets a lot of love. Do you love performing it just as much as we love, you know, watching it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, because different crowds are always like a different um, reaction. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, no matter how much I perform the song, it's always different reaction to the song once in the yeah. once on stage mm -hmm. and um, i mean that song took me to the world you mm -hmm. know I mean? it took a time it took two years to break that record yeah but um as i said you know it's all about patience mm -hmm. and i know what i wanted i know my vision so yeah, yeah nobody has to know it's a classic nobody. it's an interesting you know there's an interesting message in the song yeah and a lot of people related to it mm -hmm. too were you surprised about that not necessarily no because i feel like there was something that was going on, but you know what? It's something that's been going on for years, but nobody was saying it in a record that yeah. way. You know, I feel like when it came out at the right time, yeah. everybody was like, yeah, you know, we've been saying this, but we never really hear it in yeah. such beautiful, melodic way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Because nobody really has to know. Nobody Not really. Know. For life. <laughs> it's just between the two of us. Of no one, no one, No one has to know. Um, so when you... When your first album dropped, Rumors, yeah. your music was very versatile. So it was, you know, a lot of different mm. messaging in the song. And now yeah. it's a bit more party-oriented. Is that intentional? Mm, party-oriented, not necessarily. Uh -huh. I just make records, you know. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't go in the studio and be like, I'm going to make a dance record. I don't go yeah. in the studio and say, oh, I'm going to make a street record. Mm -hmm. It's just whatever the beat says, that's what I follow. You know, I yeah. follow the beat. So if the beat give me a more chill vibes, a chill song, like the new single No Hada, it's more like a love, not too ranch, not the normal cranium. It's mm. more settled, more, you know, cool. Mm. So it's all about how I feel when I'm in the studio with the beat. Yeah. yeah. Now, one of the biggest songs um, that people are loving right now yeah has got to be this song that I told DJ Blessing he has to drop um, today. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting. So in the video, so mm -hmm. because there's a choreography and then there's a guy in the video. Yeah. Um, he's, he's a biggish guy. Yeah. And a lot of people in the comment section were like, oh man, that guy can really dance. Yeah. So Blessing, I don't know if you can dance like this, but let's just take a look at the video. Um, and then we talk after. So take a look. When we touch down, but I broke down in a late night, me and I locked up. She found joy to the side of the shotgun. When we touch down, but I broke down in a late night, me and I locked up. She found joy to the side of the shotgun. In a dark glass, my top shots, clocks well clean. Touch you road with me blood clot team See a girl up on a corner cry and a scream You know say the boss a fiend a bean She say, I'm a knock, give her the time So of course you know say, me go give her the wine Now she say, oh me, is a one 
man ever got under So she became mine And see that Can't believe her Oh, there he is, come back. So that's the guy. Did you see the guy in the music video? If I see the guy? Yeah. It's crazy in the video. <laughs> yeah, man, of course. Um, yeah, it's fun. You know what I love about the video? Yeah. And why? Because we have like, what, 23 million, you know, uh -huh. on that video. I feel like when you watch that video, yeah. you just feel free. Mm. It's like a bunch of people just having fun. And that's mm -hmm. what I love about the video. Because when I saw the uh, the funny thing is that I didn't even know the video was being made. Mm. I saw the video after the video was uploaded. Oh. Yeah, because the team did it. So um, I saw the video, I'm like, yo, this is very interesting. It's dope because everybody just while and out, just having fun. Yeah. And that's what New York is like, to be honest with you. Like, you know I mean? Summertime is either at a barbecue party, yeah. a backyard party. Because, yeah. you know, we, had, we have um, winter. Yeah. So summertime, as the weather gets good, everybody grills up barbecuing. So that video actually capture our actual lifestyle in new york during the summer and that's what i love about it and the red cup oh. and everything yeah, and you know even in the comment section you could see people saying oh it just looks like a party video yeah it just so it was like an it. actual party yes yeah it's not saying it's an actual party but was that was the concept of the video ah. but the thing that make it so natural is yeah. just that everybody's dancing it's not really acting yeah it's like everybody just having you know we used to the video everybody just acting and just yeah doing. certain so sometimes you know i mean simplicity is what we used to survive. Yeah. You know? So that is one of those things where it's just a simple video, yeah. but it connects to the world and people connect with it because people just want to have fun and be free. Yeah. So now you live in New York or you're yeah, a citizen of the world? All yeah. right. I live so in New York. Do you go back to Jamaica? And 100%. All right, yeah, fine. Um, now, when you did a, um, a docu series with Title last year, Correct. and yeah. you, you were talking about you know, where you're from, yeah. and you were talking about the influence that America has had on you yeah. and your music. Yeah. Can you expound on that? Um, when I say America, I would say my environment more because mm -hmm. um, I grew up in Jamaica yeah. as a young child, mm -hmm. migrated to the States. Yeah. So I get to, and I went to high school in Jamaica, so mm -hmm. then I went to high school in the States. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that uh, my music is really influenced by my environment. Mm -hmm. So I could sing things that someone who's living in the islands yeah that's not living in the states can yeah. relate mm -hmm. and even though yeah if in europe it's like similar vibe to what's going on in the states in a yeah. sense and so it's like whatever i'm talking about everybody can actually mm. you know com like communicate or, or, or like feel it because yeah. it's actually natural and that's just how I am, and that's what I reflect. I reflect what my environment teaches me. Yeah. So that's basically what it is. Yeah. Now, what's so cool is that as I was, I was, I was reading about you. Mm -hmm. You, you started out with a different name, really? and then yeah, and then um, wait, I even have it. Wait, give me one minute. Um, a fireball was it? Fireball. Yeah. Firebird. Firebird. Yeah. Yes, firebird. Yeah. <laughs> Because when I started out music, I wanted to be like a cultural artist. Uh -huh. I mean, culture is more like, you know, it's more rebellious, like reggae. Yeah. More, you know, m more slower vibration mm -hmm. type of music. Mm -hmm. Because I was influenced by my uncle, who screwdriver, who was a veteran in music. Mm -hmm. So when I was living with him, I used to want to be him. Mm -hmm. You understand? But in life, you have to be yourself. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I find myself and find my soul, and then I just step on to a new name mm. that just stand out cranium yeah. yeah and now it's a big name yeah a big name that's done songs with other big names yeah like ty dollar and chris brown jumped in the remix a while back on one of your records um, um no <laughs> it wasn't no it was um i've worked with ed sharon i've worked with tory lanes tory lanes i've worked with whiskey i've worked with um ty yeah. i've worked with other artists that records they've even came out you know what I mean yeah yeah we had like you know it's funny though, nobody else know we had like two different remixes that we never dropped oh yeah okay maybe that's the one I saw online yeah. I don't know yeah. but so this is your second time working with Ty um second or third third second or third oh, third time actually yeah I work with him on boom uh -huh. the major laser record yeah. I work with him on can't believe I and I work uh -huh. with him on nobody else no remix yeah yeah three times oh wow. yeah which one is your favorite song to perform um I don't have a, it's like asking me which one of my kids I love the most oh so, yeah so okay. I can't really say I have a favorite and speaking of kids you were dad by the way yeah my dad. um does it does it affect how you put out music or you know do you Want to put up music about being a dad? Does it? No. No. Okay. Not really. Yeah, just like I'm a dad. Yeah, me too young for that. Yeah, yeah. I leave that for forty-five and over. I heard you on the radio this morning, Cranium. What's this about you having fifteen girlfriends? Where I did? I want fifteen girlfriends. Oh, you want? Yeah. Thinking about <laughs> it. I'm thinking about it. What? Fifteen girls. From where? All over the world. All over the world. Yeah. There's I want to no... be a pirate. Just oh. I've got girls in every area code. Come on. Pretty much. Whole life would have been great. Okay. So there's, there's one of our women reps um, mm -hmm. who said that, you know, men should take on more wives and should have more women if they can afford it Wishes. in their lives. I would yeah? like to meet her. You want to meet her? Yeah, I'd like, no, like 
the fuck was she talking about? Because, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> I personally believe that. Uh -huh. You're young, uh -huh. have fun. Because okay. when you get old, mm -hmm. because I always remember a man died twice. I'll leave it at that. So, yeah. before we reach that stage, yeah. have fun. All right. And all of them will know each other? All 15 of them? Have to. I have to oh. get along. <laughs> oh, not nobody has to know. Yeah. No, it's everyone has to know. Yeah. All of you Achieve. have to know each other. Yeah, do I know. <laughs> anyway, so you're performing um, yeah. later on tonight. That's Correct. why you're in Nairobi. Yeah. Tell people about it. I mean, tonight is going to be funny. I mean, it's all about just you know, it's bringing the dance hall vibe. You know, bringing me, being myself, on stage. I'm very raw, I'm very raunchy. So, if you come to a cranium concert, mm -hmm. just expect anything is possible, you know? Yeah. And um, it's all about the vibes, and I'm happy to be here. Like, I can't wait to see how um, Kenyans receive dance and music mm -hmm. and vibe, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I just can't wait, man, to enjoy myself with the people. Because that's the mm -hmm. most important thing for artists. Come, to a country or wherever you go and just be yourself and entertain and have fun mm. with the people. Yeah. yeah, it's a fantastic accent. I like it. Yeah. I, just, right. I, I wish I could speak like that. It yeah. sounds really, really cool. All right, so that is a poster. So the event is happening tonight. You can go and check out Cranium. The tickets are still on sale. Go and um, uh, watch Busis Wazol, who's going to be um, getting in the studio in a bit. DJ Mafodese, you got DJ Joy, you have G Money, you have Heart the Band, and a lot of other guys as well. It's Free Your Mind concert happening tonight. All right, but uh, before we take a break, there's someone else as well who have got to introduce you to he is a talented sax player so he's going to be doing a little something in a bit